Hi everyone, I'm Cotton Candy and this is the sixth video in my Ultimate EDC Las Vegas Guide series. We are officially so close to EDC Las Vegas 2017, it is unreal. And I'm not ready and I have so much to do and I'm definitely feeling the pressure. Oh well. Um, as for this video series, I've tried really hard to include as many tips as I could in every video and all of them are really different and have really valuable tips and insights, so I urge you to watch all of them if you find time to, especially if you're going to EDC in just a couple weeks. Um, that being said, take the well-being of yourself and others around you are not something to be taking lightly, so this video is a really important one, and I ask you to please take some notes. Stay hydrated. Insomniac offers free water refill stations around the festival. Um, just don't forget to also replenish your electrolytes with Gatorade. We usually split one per night and that usually does the trick. Um, don't avoid drinking water just because you're afraid of losing your spot in the crowd or on the rail. If you don't drink water, you will pass out and the paramedics will come and take you to the first aid tent, which is very far away from that stage. Um, also a fun fact, just because alcohol is a liquid doesn't mean it's a substitute for water. Um, yeah, that's just a fun fact for all you turn people out there, okay? <laughs> Drink water. Don't try to tough it out. If you have any sort of injury, like a hurt ankle or a medical condition like diabetes or asthma, don't try and tough it out. Visit a, a first aid tent if you need to. Insomniac offers free quality medical attention and treatments at their first aid tents. I personally have really bad asthma. I think a lot of my followers might know that. I have really bad asthma and like sometimes deathly asthma. And I had to utilize Insomniac's first aid tent services once, I think it was nocturnal 2015, and they had to give me a breathing treatment, and they didn't charge me for it, and I never got a bill, and it was awesome, and they saved me from a trip to the ER. I almost had to go home, and I was able to stick it out after getting the breathing treatment from them, which made me really happy, because I saw Base Nectar that night for the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> Stay cool. It is super hot in Vegas, especially at night for those of you who've never been there. Uh, the past few years, Vegas at midnight has been like 102, 103 degrees at night. So it's very hot, so stay cool. There are giant fans for you to stand in front of with like misters throughout the festival. There are also these garages with air conditioning that will probably be marked on the festival map, so just keep an eye out for that. Stay nourished. Remember to eat food at the festival, even if your appetite is completely non-existent, you need the food for your energy. I don't recommend eating greasy stuff like pizza. They do sell fruit, vegetables, protein bars, um, and more healthy foods. You just have to look for it. My personal favorite food in past years have been teriyaki rice bowls. They're really wholesome and they have carbs and protein. Um, yeah, those are my favorite. And I also have a smoothie every single night of EDC each year because they are the bomb.com. So you have to check those out, okay? Don't buy alcohol for minors, especially minors you don't know. You don't want to be responsible if something bad happens to them, right? Don't take stuff from strangers. I don't care how nice they are, do not take alcohol or drugs from strangers. Actually, don't take anything from strangers, not even water. Insomniac has free water refill stations. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be well stocked uh, with your own supply of water at all times. I know for a fact people don't follow this rule, but you really should. I actually had a friend who ended up in a coma for three months after accidentally drinking GHB at EDC 2010 in LA. Uh, she thought it was just alcohol, but it wasn't. There was a GHB in her drink and she was lucky that she ever woke up, but now she lives with permanent brain damage and it really sucks. Be responsible. You guys know I don't condone or encourage drug use at all. And despite what some people say, alcohol is also a drug and it is just as dangerous as any other drug, especially at these events where you're already at risk of dehydration. And if you're going to drink and do drugs no matter what, at least be responsible. And if you aren't confident or comfortable doing something that everyone else is, then don't do it. It's okay to say no and real friends will respect your decisions. If you see something, say something. If someone doesn't look okay, make sure that they get checked out. Never assume that they'll be okay or leave it up to the next person. At EDC, we're all a family and we all look out for each other and we're all responsible for each other's well-being. Think of it this way, look out for someone like you would want someone to look out for you if you were in their situation. Don't be afraid to get in trouble. Ground control and the medical tents are there to help you out, not get you in trouble. They will not tell the police if you overdid it. Their main focus is your well-being, I promise. Um, so please reach out if you think you or your friends might need help. 
Um, it's better to be safe than sorry. Don't leave the festival. Don't leave the festival if one of your friends overdid it to the point where they can't even make it back to the car or the shuttles. Um, do not carry them back to the hotel. Have them checked out at a first aid tent before you leave. If you do take them back to the hotel against your better judgment, keep them sitting upright and awake until they sober up. Okay guys, those are all the tips I have for you in this video. Uh, there are only two videos left in the series, and the last one I'm doing, as I stated before, is a Q&A. So if you have any questions or want me to elaborate on any of the things I've already talked about, please hit me up on here or on social media. My handle is at underscore Cotton Candy Kid for Twitter and Instagram, and just Cotton Candy Kid for Snapchat. I look forward to hearing some of the questions you guys have for me. And if I do choose your question to address in my Q&A video, I will give you a shout out. And if it doesn't make it into my video, I will still reply to you as soon as I can. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and check out my rave vlogs. And yeah, stay poor, guys.